All right. Good morning, guys. I'm in Atlanta. As you can see by this traffic already. It's pretty crazy. But I'm on the load board actively. And right now what I'm trying to do is find a load out of Atlanta that goes anywhere in South Carolina because I'll be in the upstate of South Carolina and then I'll be in the, the bottom of South Carolina. So the plan is if I can find something that kind of goes between, that goes back up to South Carolina as I'm picking up the forklift, that would be amazing. So I am on the way to do that. Actually, I'm going to the auction to sit for a while until I find the load. If I don't find anything by like lunchtime, I'm just gonna take off, go ahead and head to Charleston. That'll still put me home at a decent time. Sorry, a lot of these people over here cannot drive. But, yep, yeah, it is the next day. Um, I am awake, headed to drop something off then I'm headed to the auction so it's found an Audi I want pretty bad so I'll see if I can get my ring and a cap with it and see what happens all right so we are back from the auction the car I was trying to buy went for way too much money but I'm here at the forklift and we're picking it up um, one kind of cool thing about this thing is just met the owner of the company. He's a really cool guy. And, uh, yeah, so that worked out pretty good. We're going to get this thing loaded. And we're going to head down to Chuck. To good old Charleston. Get it locked and loaded and head down there. <clears throat> but I'll show you guys this thing. Ooh. It's a Linde H20. Pretty nice. Cool thing about these forklifts is they don't take really any time to get loaded. So it really takes me about maybe five minutes from loading it to binding it down to being out. So that's pretty cool. Um, and this thing runs awesome. So we'll get it loaded and then we'll we'll head out. All right, we got her tied down, and now we're headed to Charleston. All right, guys, we are in Charleston, crossing over one of the bridges. So we are at a marina on Daniels Island, and uh, we're going to get this thing unloaded, get it dropped off, and we will be out of here. So let's get it dropped so I can get to the crib. I'm tired. What is up, guys? What is up? It is the next morning, and uh, I did get that load dropped. Thank God. And I got home took forever not really forever but just a long day yesterday but luckily for me today I have a load in Charlotte 
that's got five, count it five stops in Charlotte. But the cool thing is, even though it's got five stops around Charlotte, it's paying 500 bucks and I'll have it done in four hours. So for all y'all that are bad with math, that's 64 total loaded miles from stop to stop. And then from all the stops is 64 loaded miles. And then obviously, you know, move in the uh, tarps and stuff, but that comes with it. So let me run to the house, get my tarps, then we hit the All right. That was a lot of, a lot of tarping I just did. But we're pulling out and uh, I've got to stop up here and get some, um, get the paperwork. So what I will do is I'll show you guys the load once we get the paperwork, and then we'll be on our way. All right, so I definitely forgot to uh, film the load pickup because I was at a steel company and they were uh, they were pretty picky about what was going on in there, so. I was just like, all right, well, let me try to get out of there. So I got gone, and um, as soon as we get to the first stop, I'll try to show you guys what we have, how bad my tarp job is, because it's pretty bad. So uh, we'll get there and at least show you guys that. But um, got everything picked up, and we are rolling pretty good. I also used a different way to... Uh, keep my uh to kind of keep my straps tied i usually tie them but some of them i actually uh zip tied this time with some removable zip ties so we'll see how that ends up staying together but we'll see i don't know but i'll show you guys that in one second all right so we're at the first stop and i'm already kind of untarping but got a bunch of different steel um this whole piece here is going here. Um, and then I got th that, those pallets are going one place, this is going one place, and this is going one place. Um, well, actually, two of those pallets is going one place and the other pallets going somewhere else. But the cool thing is it's all around Charlotte, so I'll be doing this for a few hours, getting dropped off, picking up some checks for this company. Basically like a freaking employee today, but making a lot of money, so I'll take it trying to help these people out um, and I did build kind of that bridge with them so it should be good um, I did go through the bushes this morning pulling out so there are random twigs on my trailer but this is a um, northern tool tarp I'm not a rich guy so I'm not gonna spend $500 on a tarp and I can just keep buying multiples of $20 tarps because I don't use tarps a lot so it just doesn't make a lot of sense for me to spend a crazy amount of money but whatever teach his own um it handled the job perfectly and we're gonna get this crap unloaded and make our money all right so I just dropped the third one kind of forgot to film the second one but they've all been so close I've just been trying to get them done so the fourth one is two miles from the third one so I'm headed there now which is awesome and then um, I got the last one and that doesn't seem very far either. And then we're done for the day. So, not a bad day. It's going to look pretty funny with the last thing on here though, for sure.